compressed gas cylinders, installation and removal of a regulator. Before installing your regulator, know the properties and hazards of the gas you are using. The safety data sheet should have this information or you can contact the manufacturer. Secure the gas cylinder with a chain or appropriate belt above the midpoint but below the shoulder. Remove the cylinder cap. Use a cylinder cap hook to help loosen the tight cylinder caps if needed. Never apply excessive force to pry off caps. Make sure to select the correct style of regulator. The CGA number on the valve should match the CGA number on the regulator. Never use adapters to connect cylinders to regulators. Perform a visual inspection before each use to detect any damage, cracks, corrosion, or other defects. Ensure the regulator pressure control valve is closed before attaching it to the cylinder. Never use Teflon tape on cylinders or tube fitting connections. Thread the regulator into the cylinder. When attaching the regulator, do not stand in line with the regulator and valve outlet. If the regulator will not fit into the cylinder, this indicates that the incorrect regulator is being used. Tighten first by hand and then use a smooth jawed wrench. Do not over and tighten the fitting. Most fittings are brass and can be easily warped. For flammables or oxidizing gases, ensure your tools are non-sparking. Pressurize the regulator slowly by opening the main tank valve first. Ensure the valve outlets and regulators are pointed away from the personnel when the cylinder valves are open. Adjust secondary valve until the proper pressure has been achieved. Check the connection for leaks using either a bubble or pressure test, depending on the type of gas you are using. If there is a leak, close the main tank valve to ensure there is no further leak. Then tighten the connection again with a wrench. If the leak remains after the nut is fully tightened, the regulator may need to be replaced. Once the regulator is installed, there are no leaks and the gas supply is connected to your application, the gas is now ready for use. When using flammable or toxic gases, the relief valve should be vented to a fume hood or other ventilation source. To improve the lifespan and accuracy of your regulator, do not keep the regulator pressurized when it is not in use. When you are finished working, shut off the main tank valve first, allow the gas to bleed out of the regulator, and then close the regulator outlet valve if you have one. Before removing the regulator, verify that the cylinder valve is closed and the regulator and the system lines are depressurized. To remove the regulator, loosen the nut with a wrench first, then by hand. After removing the regulator, replace the cap. The cap protects the valve while in storage and during transport. For more information about gas cylinders, check out the Gas Cylinder Safety Guidelines Manual linked below. If you have questions, please contact ISU EHS.